Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 4, Lesson 7, and we're going to be measuring and drawing angles today using our protractors. So again, I'm going to give you the same warning that I might have given you yesterday, which is that you guys are working with real protractors on paper, uh, and that's actually an easier thing to do than it is for me to use a fake protractor uh, on my iPad. So uh, please give me, um, give me your patience if we get, run into some technical problems uh, with this episode. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of problems. Let's take a look at problem number one. We are going to, let's see, construct angles that measure the given number of degrees. For problems one through four, use the ray shown as one of the rays of the angle with, an, with its endpoint as the vertex of the angle. Draw an arc to indicate the angle that was measured. So if you look at our first one, we have to figure out a 25 degree uh, angle. So let's see, I've got my protractor sitting over here on the right hand side. And I am going to move it over here, and I've got to align it just right with the center right at the start point of that array and right and moving right along that line. And then I'm going to count out and see to myself, let's see, we're going 25 degrees. So I'm going to look, let's see, that's 10 degrees, there's 20 degrees. So 25 degrees would be right in between the 25 and the 30. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put my mark out about here and I'll draw my ray see now you can see what I mean draw my ray out going that far and the other thing I need to do is I need to draw the arc that indicates the angle so would I draw the arc over on this side no the draw the 25 degrees is right here so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a little arc there to indicate 25 degrees Awesome. Now I'm going to try to pick up my protractor, but I have a feeling I may pick up the whole drawing. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. So let me do something else. I will grab a new copy of my protractor. Now that I've got another copy of my protractor over here, I can start working on problem number two. And again, I'm going to match up that center point of my protractor right a lot, right to the center, to the end point of my array. I'm going to lay that left-hand part right down on the line there. I think that's good. And this time I'm trying to measure, let's see, what measurement? Uh, 85 degrees, 85 degrees. So let's see, if I was counting out from this side, I would say this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. So 85 must be right about there. So I'm going to draw a little mark. Ah, that's 86, but I'm going to say that's close enough and draw a line out to about 85 degrees. And again, I have to draw my arc to indicate where, uh, which uh, angle I'm, I'm indicating. So there we go. There we have problems one and two, where we figured out 25 degrees using this, the inside of the protractor, and 85 degrees on this side using the outside of the protractor. Again, you can see me stepping out 85 degrees. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more kind of problem. Problem number five is the last one I'm going to do, um, and it, this time we have to start from scratch. We have to decide how we can draw a 108 degree angle using our protractor. So one thing we can do is we can first just draw a line, right, because we know we're going to have a line somewhere like that, right? The next thing we can do is we can move our protractor into place, and we can place it with the end point there and line it just right with the base of our protractor. And now we have to count out the number of degrees. Let's see, that's 10, 20. Well, you know what? I could maybe, I know that 90 degrees is going to be here. Maybe I can just start from 90. 90, 100, 110 is a little too far. 108 is right in there. So let's see, 108. Ah, see, I'm not able to get that just right. My stylus, 108. Oh, right there, that's about right. So if we draw a line from the center and go out like that, and we tell them, oh, that's the angle we're looking at, that looks to me like a 108 degree angle. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 108. Yeah, see, it looks like it goes through 107. But you're going to have to excuse me since my stylus isn't so precise. But that's how we can draw a 108 degree angle using our protractor, even if we don't have any line to start with. So that should give you, those three problems should give you enough to go on to work on your homework for tonight. 
Join me again next time on Mr. Conghan's Problems. Thanks.